In the third episode, we get more backstory on Dorothy's pregnancy with Jericho. She was actually bedridden for the last month. She was told by her doctor that if she actually just got up and walked around, she would be forced to come into the hospital. She really didn't want to do that. And boy, did she milk that bedridden excuse. She was really taking advantage of Sean. One day, however, an alarm goes off in the house, and she calls up the alarm company to see if they can turn it off, but they can't. And it forces Dorothy to actually get up out of bed and go downstairs. But as she's doing so, she ends up slipping. She's concerned at first, but she dusts herself off and goes downstairs to find a towel had been left too close to the stove and it caught on fire while Sean was out. She takes care of the issue with Sean walking in, wondering why she didn't yell for him. She did. And you can tell that she really is pissed off at Sean for making her get out of bed. Now, present day, the Turners have gotten flooded with tips on where Leanne might be but they've come up empty on just about all of them. It's been Sean who's been forced to go out and check on these tips, but she's also sent Julian to a couple of them, one of them being out in Westchester, which is about an hour away from the city. And when Julian gets there, this place is a mansion. It's huge. He can't even knock on the door because you have to get buzzed into the gate. And the size of this house has really piqued their interest. They're wondering why somebody needs all that space and all that security. And after a quick Google search, Dorothy finds out that it's a couple that owns a tech company. But she still believes there's way more to this story. And as Julian is outside, somebody comes to the front gate, but it's just a pizza delivery guy dropping off a flyer. So Julian heads back, but something about this house is just sticking with Dorothy. And that night she's discussing it with Sean, but he's being a little dismissive and she's getting really angry about that. So Sean tells her, all right, say you're right. And we burst on in there. What exactly do you think is going to happen with Jericho? And Dorothy comes around to his line of thinking. He does tell her that tomorrow I'll go and check out this house. And he does that. And as he's doing so, a grocery delivery truck leaves, indicating that the people are, in fact, there. And not only are they there, they have a lot of mouths to feed. So Dorothy, Julian, and Sean devise a plan to get in there by coming up with a fake pizza business called Jesus Christ. Because they also found out that these people are involved in the local church. You know, and it is a creative name. I'll give Julian that. And they go through a lot of effort into making this front look legit. Using the pizza oven out back, Sean makes a ton of pizzas takes pictures of all of them, makes a website, and prints out a very professional-looking flyer with very affordable pricing for what looks like amazing pizza. And they send Julian up to Westchester to drop the flyers off in the neighborhood. And then they wait. And it takes a little bit, but they finally get an order from the house they want to. And the order is for 20 pizzas. So as Sean is preparing the pizzas, Dorothy calls up Julian, and he rushes over from the opera looking ridiculous. And both Dorothy and Sean say, you can't deliver pizzas dressed like that. They're going to know something's up. So they decide to send Toby instead. So they put the pizzas in Toby's car and tell him that when he arrives to FaceTime them with his phone, but hide it a little bit. Don't make it so obvious. And as Julian and Sean are watching Toby drive off, Julian says to Sean, what do we do exactly if she is in there? And Sean tells him, no matter what, we have to keep Dorothy here. So as they're waiting for Toby to arrive at the house, Julian heads down in the basement to grab a bottle of wine. And that's when you find out what they've done about that leaking floor. They've had to dig it up. The water has done immense damage. But to get over to the wine cellar, they've put a wooden plank that they've just been walking back and forth on. And as Julian is walking back to the steps, he actually slips on it and drops the wine bottle in this murky sludge pit. So he bends over, grabs the wine, and heads back upstairs, not thinking anything of it. And at this point, Toby has arrived. And after being buzzed in, Leanne doesn't come to the door to grab pizzas, but a bunch of kids do for a soccer team. It looks like nothing more than a pizza party. And Sean thinks, all right, that's that. But the kids tell Toby that if he wants to get paid, he has to head upstairs to get the money. And as he does so, he turns a corner and there, right in front of him, is Leanne Grayson, wondering what the hell he's doing there. And since Toby hasn't been filled in on this little mission, he's thrown off too. Now Dorothy is back at the house screaming at him to follow her, but Toby can't hear her because she's on mute. So he heads into the next bedroom to grab the money where he finds a woman dying of cancer or something. She's bedridden and she gives Toby the money and he heads out. And Dorothy grabs her coat because she's planning on driving up to Westchester and grabbing Leanne. But Sean has to stop her saying, no, we can't do this. It's clear. She found a new family. That's it. But the good news is we found her. So now we have to strategize. We need a plan, but we also have to be cautious because we have to bring Jericho home safe and we need her to do that. So Sean has seemingly talked Dorothy off the ledge a little bit. Now inside, Julian is talking to Toby, who feels betrayed a little bit that he was used just to spy on Leanne. But Julian tells him to suck it up and he hangs up on him. And as soon as he does, the pizza business gets another order. And this time... It's from Leanne for one pizza. So Dorothy heads to the kitchen and insists that she make this pizza herself. And Sean backs up saying, look, if you want to be involved, go ahead. And Sean can tell that something's up with Julian. And he says, are you all right, man? You don't look so good. How's Natalie doing? And Julian freaks out at him. 
demanding to know why everyone's asking about Natalie, and then he admits he has no idea how Natalie's doing. So it doesn't seem like that relationship's going too well, but they fire up the pizza, they give it to Toby to get back in the car and go deliver it, and then they wait for him to turn on the camera. And when he gets there, he gives the pizza to Leanne, and she admits that she ordered it because she wanted to say goodbye to Toby. Because initially, she thought he was there to talk her into leaving. She tells him that she had to go. She didn't have a choice. And Toby asks her, did something happen with the Turners? And she says, it was Dorothy. I couldn't live with her for another day. She's not like she is on TV. She's selfish. She's cruel. She's mean. Mrs. Marino treats me really well here. And Toby says, well, what about Jericho? I'm sure he misses you. But Leanne quickly tries to change the subject, begging him not to tell the Turners where she is. But Toby kind of admits that they're the ones who sent him. And she gets upset, but when she gets up, she feels really lightheaded, and then she just faints. And Toby's freaking out a little bit, not knowing what to do, and that's when Dorothy takes herself off mute. Toby's freaking out, saying, I have to call the police, but Dorothy points out that's going to be a really bad look. It's going to look like the pizza delivery guy brought this young girl pizza and drugged her. And unfortunately, Toby knows that she's right. So Dorothy tells him, here's what I want you to do. I want you to pick her up, put her back in your car, and drive her back here. And if you don't, I'm going to call the police on you myself. And then she hangs up. Thanks for checking this recap out. Consider subscribing to the channel and liking the video if you liked it. Hit thumbs down if you didn't. If you don't see the next episode in one of the end screens, not to worry. It'll be up shortly. Be nice in the comments section. If you heard a mistake, hey, mistakes happen. You don't have to point it out. You can just keep it moving. And check out my guys over at Scene Invaders. They're reacting live to each episode of Servant. It's not a recap. It's just their reaction to the episode. It's really good stuff. Check them out as well.